At Re3D, we're looking to decimate the cost and scale barriers to 3D printing. We do that by making the world's largest affordable industrial 3D printers that recently with the help of NSF, we've modified to print directly from shredded trash. I'm Samantha Snabs, and I'm an Air Force Reservist on the weekends. And during the week, I have the honor of serving as the co-founder and catalyst for Re3D. And rather than printing from filament or like the rope-like material you might have seen in some printers, we've modified that business end so it has a big hopper or a funnel that can take shredded plastic waste or pellet waste to print. As part of our research with NSF, we're committing to taking these printers to communities where we can investigate the opportunity for a circular economy. We now have a location in Puerto Rico where we do applied research. We couldn't think of a better place to investigate where you could turn trash into gold than on an island where 86% of your goods are imported, where there's a lot of waste and landfills that are being closed. With the NSF SBIR Phase II funding, we realized to truly make this a commercial technology at an industrial scale, we're looking to use manufacturing waste for some of the biggest brands in the world to create things that schools need, to start new jobs, to create local goods. 